Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Anchor's dual USB-C 65 watt wall charger. Now for months I've been recommending a three port 65 watt wall charger as one of the best wall chargers out there to pick up for a new iPhone 14, Pixel um, 7 Pro, or even the new Samsung S22 for example. So how does this compare? It's about five dollars cheaper, only has two ports instead of three, but there's some big catches here you're going to want to know before you decide to buy this. And we're going to let you know the pros and cons of this. First though, few disclaimers. This was not a review unit. I did buy it with my own money. Keep that in mind. Second, um, pricing on this changes so rapidly. I picked this up on a holiday sale, which was a really good deal, but it's not always on sale. So I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment uh, uh, to it on Amazon so you can find out current pricing. If I don't happen to answer any questions you may have, leave me a comment. Let me know. I love to hear from you. Lastly, if you're new here, could you help us grow the channel? Could you help me support my family? All you have to do is let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here by hitting that thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do. YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping me grow this channel, helping me support my family. So with that said, let's start off this review just by taking a look at the actual charger. So it's a travel charger. Nice little flip top here, there, so you can pack this away in a backpack, briefcase, suitcase, whatever it may be you're carrying. Two USB-C ports. Now, let me get a little closer here. You can see here there's two different icons. One has a computer icon, one has a phone icon. And that's because it's 65 watts in total, but if you plug in both ports, you're not getting 65 watts. This max out at 45 watts on the bottom, and the one with the phone icon max out at 20 watts. I'll talk about why that's important there, but they do label it. So you're aware of that. 45 watts is enough to charge most laptops. Though some, like the um, MacBook Pros, go 100 watts or higher. Most laptops are in the 45 watt range, especially if you just have a standard laptop. And then, again, know the power of yours if you have a very expensive uh, gaming laptop or a MacBook Pro, for example. But let's take a look at everything that came with this. Let me talk about a few catches here. I already mentioned the fact that it's four, 65 watts, excuse me, in total, 45 on the bottom, 20 watts on the top. Well, that's great. That allows you to, for example, like I said, charge a laptop and charge a phone from a relatively small little wall charger here. The catch is if, for example, you wanted to max charge two iPhone 14s, which max out at almost 30 watts, you're not gonna be able to because 20 watts is the max of the top USB port, which is fine. iPhone 13, Pixel 6 and more are all 20 watt or less phones. Most phones are. But the iPhone 14, the S22, which is a 45 watt charger for the Ultra version, um, and more are increasingly going over 20 watts. Now, some people are, I can already see the type in the comments, Luke, the iPhone 14 is only a 20 watt charger. No, it's not. Now, the Apple paperwork says, 20 watt or faster charger would charge your iPhone 14 at this rate. Apple actually never says what the max rate is. In my testing and in other testings, you can Google it, you can look right here on it. We were able to get between 27 and 29 watts of charging, very consistent with a 30 watt charger. There's a lot that goes into that. So it's important to understand that. Well, 20 watts is blazing fast. It's the max charge on the iPhone 13, Pixel 6, and many other devices. Increasingly, that is a little slow for the iPhone 14. The new, um, the newer uh, Samsung S22 Ultra, if I can get that out, is a 45 watt, for example. Think of watch a lot like a garden hose. You can fill a pool from a garden hose. It's just gonna take a long time. You put a fire hose there, which is bigger and can push more water, it's gonna fill that pool a lot faster. Watch is the same idea. It's how much power it can send down your cable at one time to charge your phone. There, the more wattage, the faster it charges. There are other catches here to prevent damaging your battery for a wide variety of reasons. As phones get closer to 100%, they slow down the charging. At about 50%, most phones stop doing their max charging and start slowing it down. And that's why the first 10% of charging your phone goes a lot faster than the final 10% of charging your phone because they don't want to overheat it or charge it, whatever you want to call it, and damage your phone. So keep that in mind. Overall though, is this a good charger? Yes, it's a great charger, especially if you want a laptop and a phone charger. Like I said, most phones are 20 watts. It's pretty good. The problem I have with this is the fact that I wish it was actually two 30 watt chargers because two 30 watt chargers combined for a 65 here would mean that you could max charge two iPhone 14s. Maybe I'm being nitpicky, but overall, for $5 cheaper, it's not bad. Um, 
plug. The 65 watt three port one is a pretty nice one because it brings you the ability to have three devices, a pair of wireless earbuds and two phones for example, especially if you're not looking to charge a laptop from it. This is definitely targeting people who want to charge a laptop and a phone from a single plug as they travel. It's pretty small for that. So there you go. There's the pros and cons, things to be aware of and be, and be knowledgeable about. Would I not buy this because I have an iPhone 14? No, it's actually a pretty good charger. You can max charge your iPhone 14 on the Bob one, and maybe if you have a set of wires earbuds, or you have a spouse that has an iPhone 13 or another phone that only maxes out 20, they can take the top port on that. Um, but it's not a bad option overall. So I'll put links to this in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. If you have a question, leave me a comment. I'll love to hear from you. Hopefully we answered your questions. Could you help us grow the channel? Let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Just hit that thumbs up or hit that subscribe button. We post videos almost every day. So until next time, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.